again, I like the Cardinals when they got in that no huddle pace and started getting the ball to Fitzgerald and maybe somewhere on this drive they ought to go back to that. Second and ten. Warner. Nice time. Go. Fitzgerald in the steal of territory. 30, 20, 10. Arizona has the lead. He hit him in the perfect place. That, that middle was wide open. Kurt Warner read the defense, knew where he had to go, and he went to the perfect guy in the perfect situation. With Todd Haley, the offensive coordinator, he he saw those holes in there. He knew where the weaknesses were. He knew that he had to get a guy in there. It had been a back before. That time he got Larry Fitzgerald in that hole. Thomas showing blitz. He comes with a blitz. Falcons pick it up and there's Jones. Flag is down. Julio Jones with a catch. Still going. Still inbounds. Touchdown, Atlanta. No match to try to play man coverage on Julio by Julio Jones. He's at the turf toe. He missed two games in December. This one good from 73 yards out. Twice he walked the tightrope down the sideline. And Demarius Randall could not bring him down. All 6'3", 226 of him. Took it into the end zone, and boy, have these fans had fun here today, or what? Now, Joe Flacco can run. He's got great speed, but that's not going to get it done. Flacco stepping up and throwing deep down the far sideline. Caught! Into the end zone! Touchdown, Jacoby Jones! Does that happen in the Denver secondary? That is stunning. I mean, that is just, that, that's unthinkable that a safety could misplay that to that extent in this situation with this amount of time left in a football game. I mean, Raheem Moore, I don't, he'll be kicking himself for a long time. Quarter number six. Third down and 14. DeLone fires to an open Smith. Steve oh. Smith is going to go all the way. No flags down. Smith scores, and the Carolina Panthers win in overtime. And a third and 14. 69-yard play. Unbelievable. The Carolina Panthers have advanced, ending the St. Louis Rams 14-game winning streak at home in an incredible game that will go down in memory as one of the highlights of playoff history as John Fox's Panthers defeat the game St. Louis Rams, who had to come from behind late to tie it, and here's how it ended. First and goal. Another Super Bowl record, the first refrigerator to score. <laughs> and the largest running back ever to score a touchdown. 43 to 3. Well, there is some drama left. Who will score next? This is it. Last call. Fourth and goal. ago they won only four games last year won six and lost ten and then suddenly just reversed it all have won the big one the championship of the AFC today on their way to the Super Bowl in the Silverdome
And for what is arguably Brown's greatest play, he caught this pass from quarterback Milt Plum in 1961 and ran 77 yards for a touchdown. Jim Brown, coming to the 40, 45, 50. Jim Brown down the sideline. Jim Brown is going for the score. The reception was the longest for the season for the Browns and a perfect illustration of the power and finesse that Jim Brown brought to the game of football. to a second attempt. 32 seconds left. He is going to throw. Drew Pearson. He got it. Touchdown. I didn't know they had it for a while. He got the ball back. I don't believe it. By protection, the right just winds up and lets him loose. Now let's watch the play by Pearson here. Nate Wright falls down and uh, Pearson made the catch, in for the end for the touchdown. Boy, boy, what a play that was. What a ball game, huh? Eleventh play of this drive that started back at the Bronco eight. Third and six, Elway shotgun. Elway scrambling, looking, running. <laughs> First down. Is he only 37? How bad does John Elway want to win this football game? When you see that quarterback go down, not Elway. He does a good job. He steps up. Watch him look to the sideline here. He knows where he's got to go for the first down. The only way he's going to get there is a sellout. He does it and protects the football. Second down. When you get it. The score 31 6. Sanders still on his feet. And Sanders is gone. 47 yard touchdown run by Barry Sanders. Six Cowboys missed him. Well, you know, it's just a matter of time before everyone on this team is going to be heard from. You think you got him tackled? <laughs> I mean, that's by keeping your feet going and making Sanders move. Some of those moves, there's only one guy in this game that makes, and you just saw that guy. Afterwards, he just assumed that it hit the ground. You couldn't film that scene in a movie and make it look that good. Touchdown. Sure, there's a defensive tackle in the league that would catch that football. Remember, Tom, a tight end at Central Michigan, so ball skills are evident. If you get a big game here, Jim, you immediately call timeout so you can get two to three shots into the end zone. I don't even think Peyton's going to watch. Intercepted. Colts are going to the Super Bowl. Marlon Jackson. Marlon Jackson, Roman free. Their first rounder of a year ago, Marlon Jackson stepping in. 
And making the pick. We have just witnessed the largest comeback ever in a conference championship game. Peyton Manning and the Colts are going to play in Super Bowl 41 against the Chicago Bears. Third and a huge five. Throw it out. On the fade. Touchdown to Jimmy Smith. Can't well, throw it any better. Can't throw it any better. Can't catch it. But again, what a call. Was that the perfect throw? <laughs> what? Well, it's just a good job. Look at the throw, though. He throws it on the line, and Torrey James really does not have time or the speed to catch up and react to the football. Mark Brunel knows it's either going to be a touchdown or it's going to be incomplete. Take no chances, and the ball is thrown to the perfect spot. Coach Graham called for a 65 toss power trap. Look for 65 toss power trap. Gloucester, tell him 65 toss power Get trap. Get in there for 65 toss power trap. 65 toss power trap. That might pop wide open, Rats. Get in there! Ah! As we review the 65 horse power trap, watch the Kansas City line entice the Vikings to the outside, leaving Mike Garrett an open path through the middle and closed out a first half completely dominated by the Kansas City Chiefs. This is it. on the coverage. The ball is intended for Barry Foster. And Gibson does a great job. He reads it all the way, knocks the ball away. After the timeout, from the 10, probably the final play of the game. In regulation. It is caught by Dyson. Can he get in? No, he cannot. Mike Jones made the tackle, and the Rams have won the Super Bowl. Mike Jones deserves an awful lot of credit for being right there on the spot. There was a movie called The Longest Yard. There is your sequel. Rams try to get everybody on the line of scrimmage. Now, he still has one timeout. They'll save that for the field goal. It appeared that Marino was going to try and stop the clock instead. He connected for the fourth time with Mark Ingram. And the Dolphins have a 27-24 lead. Going to try to work the ball in the back. And steps into it. Pass is caught. Diggs! Sideline! Marcus Williams here, he has a shot. I'm not sure really what he's thinking, Joe. He comes in, he's got him dialed in, and he just, all he's got to do is make a play. And it's pandemonium. Second and goal. Baldwin sets up on the left. Play clock at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Unreal. And I'm sorry, but I can't believe the call. Me neither. I cannot believe the call. You've got Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. You've got a guy that's been borderline unstoppable in this part of the field. I can't believe the call. And after the wackiest lead-up to a Super Bowl ever, the New England Patriots are the NFL champions.
there. And Tracy Porter, the quickest, fastest defensive back for the New Orleans Saints. What a play. Third down and five. Pressure from Thomas off the edge. Eli Manning stays on his feet. Airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. Oh, my God. And Eli, man, I don't know how he got out of there. I thought he was on the ground, and, and then he came out of the pile and just slings it. And when the ball came out, it looked like it was going to be overthrown and that Rodney Harrison was going to have an easy interception. And David Tyree went up and so, somehow was able to make the catch. I'll tell you one thing, Wayne Krobeck is going to pull it off. I think usually, as usual, the Jets are going to come from behind. You will see. It's going to give, be, give them some serious trouble now. I think the Dolphins have to be terminated. Second down and goal from the two. Fake to Mart, then a dump, and it is juggled and caught by Jumbo Elliott. That Jumbo, they had the hands team in. The tackle winds up as an eligible receiver at the end of the line. He's open, he's juggling, he's falling down, and they're one point from tying the game. That is Elliott's, it's the first catch of his career. He's played 173 games. Well, you can't shut him down forever. Only 12 seconds left to play third quarter. Here's Marcus Allen. Cutting back up Beal and Marcus Allen could be gone. Seventy-four yards for Marcus Allen. The Raiders are starting to shove this one in the winner's column. Watch him. He starts out here to the left. He feels the force of support coming. He says, oh, I can't go there. I'll start here. Now I see a cutback against that guy. Now I see open field. I'm just going to turn it on and take it into the end zone. That is a heck of a run. You don't teach that. You don't practice that. You don't see that on films. That happened. Here we go. They've got all these signals. Shotgun, he would not have been eligible, but for the fact he was in the shotgun, not under center. This play call has a chance to be remembered as one of the all-time greats just going for it. Last chance for the Steelers. Bradshaw trying to get away. And his pass is broken up by Beta. Tipped off! Michael Harris has it! And he's over! Michael Harris! And the ball and the Let's watch this again. one odds on this one. Watch this one now. Bradshaw's lucky to even get rid of the ball. He shoots it out. Jack Tatum deflects it right into the hands of Harris. And he sets off. And the big 230-pound rookie slipped away from Warren and scored. When you talk about Christmas miracles, here's the miracle of all miracles. And of course, for the upstart 49ers, they're six yards away from Pontiac. Third and three. We'll see a pickup sometime on the right side, possibly. Montana. Looking, looking. Throwing in the end zone. It's a madhouse in Candlestick. White Clark is 6'4". He stands about 10 feet tall in this crowd's estimation. Here's Montana rolling to his right. Always looking, always looking, finally throwing the ball away. 
Clark comes across from the other side, makes a leaping catch on Everson Walls. He is amazing. What a play by Dwight Clark. of boom and the number one pass defense in football and here the 49ers have driven it down on the arm of Colin Kaepernick with a chance to take the lead. Kaepernick ends up crap trip. Broken up. Picked up. This game is over. Knocked in the air. Intercepted by Smith. Off the hands of Richard Sherman. There's not many guys who can make a play on this ball. Richard Sherman's out of position, but he's able to turn enough and get his left hand on that ball just to keep it from being a touchdown. It's Richard Sherman, who played for Jim Harbaugh in Stanford, knocking it into the air, and Smith there for the interception. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. seen some great defensive efforts in championship type football games before but I haven't seen anybody play better than Rondé Barber has today he's anticipating he's reading routes he's reading Donovan's eyes he's the guy in there on those inside receivers and he has been a nightmare all day long for Donovan McNabb and the Philadelphia Eagles. Sixteen seconds left. They still have a prayer, but not much more. The one thing that I would not do is kick this thing, squib kick this thing short. No, I'd kick it deep. I would make them use as much of the clock and take my chances on a return as opposed to squib kicking it. Let them get it with about 12 seconds to go and a possibility for a play. Taken by Neal. He gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck. That looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. No flags on the play. It is a touchdown, but we need to look at that replay. Take a look at it from the best angle I can give you. You see Wycheck start to the right. Now he's on the line, okay? He's on the line and he catches it on the line. It's gonna, I, I don't know. I got to be honest with you. I think it's a lot closer call. He's on the line, and you watch where it's caught. You it's caught what? on the line. That oh, I, is that close? No, I'm saying it's real close. It's a lot closer when you look at it than we thought, Mike. Stands. It was a lateral. <laughs> what a devastating way for Buffalo to lose the lead after they had driven for a winning field goal and on a trick play on the kickoff. Remember we said special teams makes the oh. difference in big games? Didn't quite expect that. Goal line, I left tight wing, 70 chip on white, ready? Here comes the diesel. Here comes the diesel. There's the snap, and to Riggins, good hold! He's got the first down to the 40, he's gone! The 35, the 30, the 20, he's gone! He's gone! Touchdown, Washington Redskins! John Riggins has given the Redskins the lead in Super Bowl 17. 70 chip was a perfectly executed play, and the image of John Riggins busting through the arms of Don McNeil will last for all time in the memory of the Redskin faithful. John Riggins has given the Redskins the lead in Super Bowl 17. The bees are dead. 